and I'm from Aotearoa, New Zealand. What is the question most commonly asked by your readers back home? Uh, the, the most common question is usually how does my music and my poetry work together, if they work together at all? Uh, do I set my poems to music or are they separate processes? Yeah. How do you answer that question? I answer it by saying uh, they're very different for me. Um, the poems need to perform on the page without the assistance of instruments or arrangement or melody or voice, really anything like that. Um, so I craft them really differently, whereas with lyrics or even sonic art kind of stuff, I there's a lot more that can help the text. It's not just the text on its own on a page. Yeah. Is there a single book, author, or teacher who at this point in your career is a singular influence? At this point... I think f for, for my whole writing career, uh, up to now, Bill Manhire, uh, who is New Zealand's kind of, uh, he's, he was the first poet laureate, he's a really important figure in New Zealand poetry. Bill Manhire's probably been a key person and poet for me, yeah, up to now. Where do you usually write? Um, you mean like room or train or uh, yeah You're a desk sure, a sure. coffee shop yeah. uh, on a particular typewriter yeah. you know anywhere that where could sure this. sure I usually write uh, in a in a red it's usually red journal uh, which contains all sorts of hieroglyphics that I'm really hoping no one discovers after I'm gone. Um, and I, I use it for you know journaling, I use it for uh, planning my day, I use it for uh, rough drafting poems, I use it for everything. So um, wherever I am, if that journals with me, that's kind of where I write. Mm. What have been or what are the hardest environmental circumstances or conditions in which you've been able to write? Um, that's a good question. Probably the residency that I had last year in Australia, I ended up being in a lot of physical pain. Uh, my left shoulder just kind of froze up and my, the rest of my body kind of followed and it meant that I couldn't do um, a lot of the things that I do to keep myself well and kind of, you know, balanced and sane. And I couldn't swim, I couldn't really uh, do any yoga, I couldn't type for long periods of time. Um, nothing to do with the residency, they were great, but for some reason, you know, these things just happen and um, I wrote a lot, actually, yeah, God knows how. How do you recharge those batteries? So yeah, yoga, swimming, walking, uh, spending a lot of time uh, on my own. Even though I'm a performer, I'm not really a natural extrovert, so um, I find it quite draining being around people, so I try and get away as much as I can. Beach walks, the beach. Um, if you've been able to find one, I guess, uh, what is your favorite quiet place in Iowa City? <sighs> the room where I'm staying, you know, it's beautiful. Bostick House, it's, it's a restored, you know, 100 year old building and um, I just really love it, I'm going to miss it. What has most surprised you here? How social I've been, you know, like I'm, I just don't get out much at home <laughs> and here, I mean, everything's so close and I've just really loved all the other writers so I've been out, you know, practically every night and I've really enjoyed that, yeah, yeah. Um, out of your time here, uh, can you imagine anything specifically from this time finding its way or leaking its way into your work? The, the, the landscapes, um, without a doubt. Uh, and, you know, the things that I haven't seen and haven't heard, which are the, um, a lot of the native stories and indigenous stories from here, 
So I kind of, the same thing happened in Australia. I created a character, kind of a, a global indigenous character that wanders around misbehaving and acts as a kind of a muse or conscience or uh, court jester. Yeah, so I've, I've carried on writing in her voice since I've been here. Mm. This is one I asked off script recently. Um, is there any part or any piece of writing, anything, any text that you've never, in the end, f been able to find a home for? Yeah. Yeah. You mean, like, in my work yeah. over the years? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, a story about my father's childhood in, in an orphanage in the South Island, which grows more and more pressing for the telling every day. You know, he's 74. He's a very lively guy, but I just can't work out where to put it or how to put it. Yeah, it's a hard one. No, no clarity whatsoever has come for me about this while I've been here. Last question. Who is a writer? Yes, a, a song singer. Yeah.